Hi, this is Katherine Scott with drillingcontractor.org. I'm here at the SPE IEDC Drilling Automation Symposium, part of the drilling conference here in Amsterdam. I'm with John DeWart, a primary organizer for the workshop. John, today there were two speakers from Rio Tinto, a global mining company, who discussed the Mine of the Future program. Can you tell us what the key takeaways were for the drilling industry? I think one of the key takeaways was that there was a company here who has actually made a huge change. They have decided to make a step change. They have discovered how to do it. And then they have gone and got board approval for the funding to do it on a large scale. It's not just a little bit here and there. And the other takeaway is that they, they took control and responsibility for the whole system. And they made the whole system communicate across itself. And they are building this combined database and management system and they have solved issues about standardization where standards didn't exist. They have created standards to create interoperability. And in our industry, our people are still struggling, struggling around that whole concept. And what was the feedback? Do you feel like it did inspire some of the audience? Yes, I think people were quite surprised by it. And I, I think that they saw, oh, it's mining, it's not us. But then you heard some of the questions people are starting to relate. And I think as well, people looked and they saw they have small mining machines, or sorry, small drilling machines mm -hmm. that have become autonomous. And yet it's part of a complete autonomous package. So they have integrated all of these autonomous systems together. Mm -hmm. And I think people started to see that and understand what they've accomplished. And then I heard in the break, people came up to me and said, oh, I heard from so-and-so, or I heard from so-and-so. It was a great speech. And these are really leading people. Andrew Stokes is a, is a really leading man behind this. Okay, and we also heard from Ackerworth and Heron Connect. They talked about two specific components of the Mine of the Future program. Can you tell us maybe what the lessons learned were there for those pieces of equipment? I think the lesson is that the customer, Rio Tinto, identified the suppliers, looked at how to generate the value, and then worked with them in partnership with the selected supplier to create a new technology, a new method of applying the technology. And in some cases, it's been a combination of current technologies, including automation and remote control. In other cases, they've developed new technology. But I think it's all about working with a selected supplier and then creating a machine that will be a lot different and will perform a lot differently. Right. It sounds like it was a good symposium. Oh, I think so. Thanks again for joining us today, John. And thank you for joining us at drillingcontractor.org. This has been Catherine Scott.